the boots off me earlier. Sorry for being a schmuck and running away like that, but can't be too careful these days. What are you, a doctor? <laughs> you certainly look sterile with them fancy gloves. That big old fella with the mask just headed downtown. Didn't look too pleased. That your fault, is it? <laughs> and the two of you are the first signs of life I've seen in days. Figured it was just me and that little girl left in this rotten place. I warned people this kind of thing was coming. So, the little girl is immune, is she? I figured as much. Me? <laughs> no, no, I'm not. I just don't have much contact with people anymore, and I uh, try to stay away from the water. <laughs> Never liked it anyway! The only food that's safe to eat anymore is sealed up in them vending machines. And those things are impenetrable! Tell you what! You find me something safe to eat, I'll help you get into that shop down the street. I'm willing to bet they've got something in there that'll help you defend yourself against that heavy breathing you-know-who. Hey, you find me something to eat yet? Something salty would be nice. Avoid the liquids. My big teeth are floating. Kiss my drift. <laughs> like a king tonight, I tell ya. <laughs> oh, oh, right. The door code for the shop. Seven, four, one, seven. Uh, or is it seven, one, four, seven? Uh, never been too good with numbers, admittedly. But I think that's the right one. One of the two ought to do the trick. What's the worst that can happen? <laughs>
live from Oxford, where house fire is currently roaring out of control. As, as you can hear, the fire department is on their way. While the cause of the fire is still unknown, neighbors think that the fire may have been deliberately set. One resident, who prefers to remain anonymous, reported a disturbance after hearing yelling and screaming coming from outside the house. Only moments later, the house was ablaze. Uh, we have no official statement yet from authorities, but it looks like it may be a case of arson. No word yet on injuries or casualties. We will bring you continued coverage as the story progresses right here live and on location. Thank you. 